morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. Today is Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. The Niners continued to make moves in free agency yesterday, but they weren't the earth-shattering moves that this franchise sometimes makes. First, they signed defensive tackle Jordan Elliott of the Browns to a two-year contract. Now, Don't look at the PFF grades for Elliott, because if you do, you're not going to be very happy because they're not very high. But he did rank sixth in ESPN's run stop win rate for whatever that is worth. The one thing you can say about Elliott, however, is he stays on the field. He is durable. Over his four year career, he has played in 69 of 69 possible games. Nice. Next. The Niners extended the contract of special teams ace George Odom. Two-year deal. Are you sensing a theme here with the 49ers? That's going to run through the 2026 season. It's worth as much as $10.8 million. Odom led the NFL with 21 special teams tackles in 2022, and he was leading again last year before he got hurt. He's a special teams ace, also a backup safety for the 49ers. Also yesterday, the Niners restructured the contract of linebacker Fred Warner. They freed up around $10 million. Fred's now going to make the veteran minimum of $1.125 million and have a cap hit of just $13.8 million in 2024. He'll also have a cap hit of $30 million in 2025, but ah, who cares about that, right? That's future John Lynch's problem. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Wednesday, the Athletics Free Agency Tracker. If you're a little confused as to who signed and who's left out there, click the link in the description of this episode. It'll take you right to the Free Agency Tracker. You'll be able to see immediately the best players that are still available. And there are some good ones out there. Don't lose hope yet because the Niners haven't gone absolutely crazy so far. There are still good players to be had. Speaking of that, one thing to watch, the Los Angeles Chargers. We know there are rumors they could move on from Joey Bosa, Khalil Mack, maybe both. Today is the first day of the new league year. All teams must be under the salary cap. But more importantly, both Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack both have clauses in their contract that pay them bonuses on the third day of the league year. That would be Friday. So if the Chargers are going to make a move with Bosa and or Mac, they're going to want to do it before then so that they don't have to pay those bonuses. One thing you may have missed, Debo Samuel is going to get a new number next year. He is getting rid of 19. He's going to number one like he wore at South Carolina. Debo's New Jersey will actually say Samuel Jr. uh, Excuse me, Samuel Sr. on the back. Uh, because, of course, he has a son, Junior. So now he is Samuel Sr. Very nice, Debo. Apparently, one is also very slimming, which, you know, for Samuel, kind of important. Not saying, just saying. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and 5. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you click the bell, you'll get notified every single time we go live, which is every weekday for you. Today, it'll be me and Grant Cohn. 9 a.m. Pacific time. We'll break down what the 49ers have done. I'm sure Grant's going to be ultra positive about it so far. Plus, I will be live later tonight with Levin Black. We're going to do it 5.15 p.m. Pacific time. Levin and I will do our show a little bit early because it's free agency. There's news and also Levin's work schedule kind of stinks this week. So there you go. I'm Rob Stats Guerrero. Enjoy your Wednesday, everybody. We'll talk later today.